eat just the items, they're going to go, how do I know that's fair? You've got to give them both the word <coughs> and the numbers so that it's a complete summary of what's going on. So depending on how you want to organize it, this is the stuff I need. I need to see who it was, what items they got, and not just a percent of the canon, but what percent of the canon, like listed here. Don't just say percent of canon, say 67% of the canon. Then list the numbers and add it up. Calvin's whole story is this. If you said Calvin came in and read the summary, he Hello and welcome to Monday, the 23rd day of April 2012. We've got a pretty terrible day out there. It's about 38 degrees and just windier as frig. we got shit blowing all over the place. That trash can I just moved from, get leaves in the way. That trash can in the middle of their yard used to be over there and those blue things 10 minutes ago, one was there on the porch and the other one was over here in front of this big bush. So, uh, yeah. Uh, another sucky Ohio day. Got the car dropped off this morning, and we're going to be going and picking it up shortly. Uh, I hope. Uh, typical Ford. Beautiful tail lights and beautiful color. Okay, it is like seven hours later or something crazy. Uh, really, really busy afternoon. Kind of a suckish day at school. Pretty much a bad Monday, but not a bad Monday. I'm here and everything is still not on fire, so I can't say it's a bad Monday. It's just about 11 o'clock right now, and it was cloudy all day until about 4, and then it finally went up to like 52 degrees and got sunny, which uh, I would rather have that the opposite. I'd rather clouds roll in at night so it doesn't get really cold. I'm looking up, I see stars, but that's the way it worked. So this is back, um, $2,300. We paid for the tires now and the rear struts and everything, and you can see there's, it has lifted up this corner quite a bit, so that is where it should be OEM's back and over here, so now they're the same. Actually, there's like a quarter inch more clearance over here now, which doesn't make any sense because I put a level on the trunk on flat ground and it's perfectly level. And then, of course, being a, a German, I took a, a, uh, a ruler and measured exactly 10 and a half inches from the ground to the tip of the outside exhaust outlet, and it's exactly 10 and a half on both sides. So I don't know why there's more room on the right, but I guess that happens during alignment. So that's done, and that's part one of four. Um, when I drove this up to Legacy Village on Friday, I think it was, yeah, Friday, up there with Jack and, um, and Alex, I noticed in the parking lot with windows down, I would hit the brakes or steer and there was a creek coming from the front left. Well, I had them take a look at it when they had the suspension and stuff and they were working with wheels, and they noticed that the front left uh, shock is basically dead, which makes sense. You know, the back ones go, the front ones, I would guess the front ones would be before the back ones but they're not. Um, so I ordered two front ones, might as well just do all four of them while I'm doing this. And they're actually going to come from California. There's eight pairs left in the United States and a couple, or I think all of them are in LA. So they're going to be here on Thursday. So I'll get this in Friday or Monday or whatever works for me and them at the uh, tire place and TV. And uh, we'll get new front struts as well. The springs are fine. The camber and toe and everything was good in the front. Uh, or whatever the other third measurement of that stuff is, but um, so I ordered the front struts and we'll get those in. You, you can't replace just one. The front right one can't be far behind. So we'll get that done and then it should handle completely differently. I know it's a little spongy in the front. If you step on the gas hard, it kind of lurches up. If you brake, it lurches down. And that explains my brake pulsating. At about 60 miles an hour, you hit the brakes and it pulls the steering wheel out of your hand. Well, I just put new rotors on this in the fall. It can't be warped rotors already. So I had them look at it uh, for that as well, and they determined that it's the shock or the strut that isn't firmly uh, attached or whatever they explained. I don't really care as long as it gets fixed. So, uh, I mean, it's given a little more than, I sh and than it should if I put all my 145 pounds on it. You can hear the fluids and stuff in there, but uh, we'll get that done, and then that'll be fixed, so that's good. Um, and the front ones were a, a little more expensive. They're $475 a piece which brought it to like 1300 with labor and stuff. Uh, it's only two hours to put those on. So that'll be four new struts and rear springs, which is good. And uh, the tires are there. I bought the tires, but I'm gonna leave them there until June when I can have my wheel fixed. I pumped this tire up two days ago and you can see it's already down. Yeah, oh yeah, if I step on it, it's moving quite a bit. So I need to pump that up and it's constant problems, constant stuff, constant maintenance. Um, not problems, just maintenance. You know, struts aren't supposed to last 160,000 miles, but they did, so they don't owe me anything. So I'll get the struts on and get the, t get the wheel fixed in June when I don't need the car after school and get the new tires on and then we should be in good shape. And I'm going to work on getting the new GPS unit and the uh, navigation computer in. June to July time frame, and I'm going to be out two weeks. I'm not going to be here two weeks in June. 
We'll talk more about that later, June or July. I haven't figured that out yet with my dad. But uh, there's an update, and I'm sorry for the four-minute clip. Other than that, I said it was a pretty sucky day. We saw that beautiful Ford. And um, it was pretty cool, actually. When I picked up the car this afternoon, I got in, and on the passenger seat, there's a book with a picture of an Amola Red uh, E39 M5 on it and a business card with a note written on it. I, I picked it up, and the business card was from the guy who owned the car before me, Dave Marone. And um, on the business card, it says, Jeep Wrangler for sale, question mark. And uh, it's funny, because he's moving to Denver. Uh, from here, he has like eight or nine cars here, BMW Z8, Corvettes, uh, an E60 M5, not really nice stuff. Alphas, uh, or not an Alpha, what's he have? An MG, I think, that he's restoring, or has restored. So anyways, he obviously drove by the tire place, saw my car, his old car, sitting out, thought, oh, he's working on it, went home, found the book. I don't know why he didn't give it to me before. Maybe he had lost it or came up with it or found it when he was going through stuff getting ready to move. Um, it's the actual BMW book from this car when it was new. You know, if you go to a dealer, you pick up the book on the car, go home, read through some of the features and the specs. And it is incredibly well illustrated. I'll show you tomorrow, I got it put away now. Uh, for something from 2000. It's really nice graphics, lots of good information. And it was cool to see that uh, and all the options that were available and the prices and stuff. Um, and it's nice to know that I actually have every option available except for the rear spoiler delete and the badge delete, which I don't know why you'd want that unless you're trying to go stealth, um, even more so than it is. But I've got everything on it, which is cool, so it's pretty much loaded. Uh, yeah, but it was cool to have that. Now I have his email. I'd like to show him the car before he leaves. It is a completely different machine than when I got it. I mean, I've done brakes all around, pads, rotors. Um, the suspension's been worked over, tons and tons of stuff. Uh, I've got my PDF up to like $34,000, including the price of the car since July 2010. I'm rambling, as I usually do about cars. If you don't like cars, I don't know why you watch my videos. Um, so that's what's going on with that. It was cool that he uh, took the initiative to go all the way home, get the book, write me a little note on a, on a business card so now I can have contact with him, which will be cool. So here comes a car. What are you doing out at 11 at night, bud? Are you drunk? What's going on? No, that's a stereotype. I shouldn't follow that. Actually, it's my neighbors across the street. You can tell by the headlights. That's their... Uh, Hyundai Elantra, so I guess they're having a hot night out on the town. Anyways, wasting more time out here in the garage. I'm going to go in and edit this together. Uh, I've got a couple videos tonight. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Should be a better day, I hope. No more olive green. Nobody's going to get that. And I'll talk to you tomorrow morning on Tuesday. Good night.